All right, happy Wednesday. Don't freak out, don't panic. I don't have my makeup fully done today. It's all for you. If you only knew how hard this was for me to come on here with no contouring and face makeup. So I'm doing it all for you. Now, what you're going to find out is that today is going to be amazingly helpful to learn about makeup. And the reason I saved my makeup is because I have something so important to show everyone. You guys are not gonna believe what I came across. So I should say we, our whole time team came across this this past weekend and I cannot say enough about it. So today's theme is movies, moly, and makeup. So the reason I have not done my makeup yet is because I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit, I'm going to show you this trailer and it's for a movie called Molly. It's going to be amazing, amazing, amazing. It's going to change the world. I'm not even kidding. Like this movie is going to change the world. If you've ever seen the movie Pay It Forward, it's like that times 10 amount of good it's gonna do for the world. It's going to be so, so cool. So I'm going to show you guys that in a little bit and then I'll let you, and then later we're going to talk about contouring and how you can contour your makeup, which I think helps drastically. So you'll probably know that I look quite a bit different today than on other days, and that's because my contouring is not done yet. So um, I'll show you how to do that later. So part of um, you know what I'm gonna show you today is uh, the movie Molly, and we are also going to have, um, a really great package to give away. So we're not only giving away time products today, we have other presents to give and I'm and I'll tell you all about them right after we do the premiere. I'm so I'm a little bit nervous that I'm on the wrong page here. Am I on the wrong page? On is anyone going to I feel like somebody's coming in to tell me I'm on the wrong page. Am I on the wrong page? Yes. Thank you. Page. No, I'm, I'm on my page. Okay. Well, bye everybody on my page. I'm going to join that yes, later. Okay. Yeah. I figured that was because I was watching our audience and it was a little bit different. So thanks for everybody on YouTube. Usually Jenny's here to get me on the right page. Yeah. So. Oh, she's on yep. Yeah, okay. Your perfect. Is good. <laughs> okay. So hi everybody. I'm sorry this isn't going to be very entertaining while I get onto the other page. Okay. So apparently I was checking comments on the wrong page. Okay. Here we go. Okay. So maybe somebody else can put in a description for me. Is that possible? And I'll just go live. Okay, so we're gonna start over again. I was on the wrong page. Okay, so uh, welcome everybody. We are going to do an amazing show today about how to contour. So that's why I look a little different today. And the reason we're going to show uh, contouring is because sometimes you go to a movie that changes your life. <laughs> Remember that little girl? She's like, I love everybody. That's how I feel like it changes your life and it just makes you have an more amazing life. And I've done that recently, and in the process, I guarantee this movie, I, I feel like it will make everybody cry. Kendrick, Kiera, can you tell me, I, like, is there anybody that's going to watch this that doesn't cry? Tammy, do you think anyone's gonna not cry during this movie? No, everybody cried. Oh, uh, you the have boys. to cry. You just have to cry, even the boys. And, but it's like the best. You know, I, like, lately I've been watching movies and I'm like, oh, I get it, okay, the world's gonna end somebody, Mark Wahlberg, or somebody is going to save the world, but everybody thinks it's gonna end in the process, and like, it's so like, killing, killing, killing. Well, this movie is the one I've been looking for. I've been looking and looking and looking for a movie that's like inspirational and does great for the world, and this is it. And I don't know why that's been my mission lately, but apparently I found it, because it is like bonkers good. And so we met the director this past week, He's amazing. He's going to be in that new movie um, with the Arizona firefighters called, I always forget it, Heroes. Oh no, it's something like that. Oh, maybe somebody will help me out with what that is. So he's in that new movie. His name is Scott Hayes. He's the director. He went out to Kenya to shoot this movie about one guy that touched thousands and thousands of people and he's about to change millions of people's lives. I'm sure of it. So I'm going to show you that trailer or like the beginning of it in a little bit and then we'll work on contouring and makeup. So hopefully that helps everybody kind of understand about today. And then later we're giving away movie tickets and um, traveler sets so that you can take some makeup with you to the movie in case you're on a date or something like that. Because you will be crying and have to touch up your makeup. Yeah, because you will be crying and have to touch up your makeup. So I'm gonna show you just a little bit. Um, I talked to the director yesterday. He said this is okay that I show you guys this. 
So I'm going to show you a little bit. Let me see if I, I think I turned my volume down earlier. Okay, guys, are you ready? If you haven't seen this premiere, you have to see it. Okay. Oh, you can see the shampoo. Okay, so I don't know if you got all that out of it, but we're going to provide links for you so that you can definitely check that movie premiere out because I'm telling you, you have to, have to, must have to see this movie. It is amazing. Okay, so what happens during that movie is a lot of great stuff. This um, one guy goes through and changes the lives of thousands, and I do not want to give anything away because I'm a big believer in seeing the whole movie and wanting to see it all and make my own call so you know I'm gonna make sure you guys are able to do that as well so I'll be quiet about the movie but anyway you have to see it so if you go um, and buy tickets for this movie before the 3rd of October you will be donating to that foundation and for found um, and I believe it's also helping for kids in the US so we're going to provide that link for you so that you can pre buy tickets and they're going to, and it says on the website that um, one ticket saves one life. So imagine if you can seriously affect change in one kid's life off of the street. Oh, I'm telling you, it's heartbreaking when this guy goes onto the street and grabs the kids off of the street. It's like, I just cannot, oh, it's just crazy. Okay, so the other thing we're doing is we're going to um, donate a portion of all of our sales uh, from now until Saturday to this movie or to this um, foundation it's MCF it's called Molly's Children's Foundation and so if you go on our website at any time and buy anything now then we're going to go ahead and you put in the promo code Molly you then you're going to um, put a, some, a donation as well so you can either buy movie tickets or you can buy time stuff for yourself and then we will do the donating and I'm so excited to give him um, the check, the director, he's a really great guy and really setting out to change the world. So anyway, I'll stop talking about the movie because I know we're here to talk about makeup, but oh, geez, you guys have to watch this, have to watch it. The so, other movie was Only the Brave, somebody that Only the Brave, movie. yes, yes, that's who Scott, um, that's what Scott is going to be in the next movie. Okay, so let's talk contouring because after a movie like that, I'm telling you, you're going to have to, you know, adjust your makeup sometimes, so I'm going to teach you how to do contouring. So. Um, I'm starting out with this Anastasia um, of Beverly Hills and it's a contouring kit and it's light to medium for me so that's what I use. I haven't done makeup tutorials before so you guys will have to stick with me and let me know if I'm giving you the right amount of information or not. Okay, so I like different brushes according to what I'm going to use. So if I'm going to use um, something light then I always use my a lighter kind of brush and if I'm going to use something dark, then I use a dark brush. Ooh, I didn't really prep this so that it looks nice and clean for you. That would have been nice. Okay, so what I do is I like, um, so yellow is the opposite of like reds and purples. So if you have like dark circles under your eyes or anything, yellow is a great contouring um, piece for that. And I also like up around my cheeks to have a more of a sheen kind of highlight so I just mix these two 
And then I just go in right here and just create a little bit of highlight. So the goal is to make above your cheekbone highlighted and then right in the center of your forehead and a little bit on the bridge of your nose. And then I also do a little bit of um, highlight down here. So when I do the rest, I take less of the shiny and I do more of the matte and I mix them. I don't like to be committed to just one because I think it looks too flat. So I just go in and mix a little bit and put it in that area. I don't usually do this with this many lights on. <laughs> okay, so that's just a subtle touch of um, the highlight up on the top and I'll do my other eye as well. And how you pat or rub makes a big difference as well. So make sure you don't put too much pressure, otherwise you aren't leaving some behind, right? So you know how you like, I'm trying to think of a good example of what you rub off. I, I, the one I can really think of is a Sharpie or, or a marker, like a dry erase marker. You know when you go on it and then you go back over it and then you like mess it up. It's like that idea, you take it off. So you're just creating a highlight and you just want to have a bit of a shine. So. I've already done the same basic idea with my um, foundation underneath. So I start with um, high, uh, blah, 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 contour, no, what is it? What, is, what do I usually use? I'm sorry, I'm taken back by this watching Molly all morning. <laughs> I, I'm losing my mind. Okay, so I'm gonna get the other um, two steps out that I do underneath so that you can understand what that is. So I, um, use this, a concealer. That's the word I was looking for. So I use this concealer underneath before and I put it in a triangle going from my eye to, you know, about the bottom of my cheek and then I bring it up like this. So that whole thing, you almost look like you've been like painted for war <laughs> when, you, when you're in the midst of mixing it. So you do the concealer or a lighter color here and here and throughout here. And then I do um, a darker color underneath that goes all through here and on the sides of your nose and on the sides of your forehead. Now if you have a bigger forehead, you use more dark and if you have a smaller forehead, you use more light because digger make bigger, the little darker makes things look smaller and um, lighter makes things look bigger. So you have to know your face shape and learn where it looks good. I promise you, you need to practice this. Do not do this your first time out, just going, oh yeah, I'm gonna contour today and then go out on a date. Okay, so, you know, put a little bit of work into it, like trying it before, because I think you will learn a lot after the first time you try. And try two different things and then wash your face, probably. Because <laughs> I promise the first couple of times of this were big mistakes. And make sure you take a selfie after so you don't accidentally over highlight your nose or something, because that can go wrong too. Okay, so for on the cheeks, what you wanna do is be about halfway on the cheek because I'm gonna leave room for blush up here. So I wanna be about halfway on the cheek and under and I will put um, the darker there. So I use the lighter two first and then this one I use for underneath. So I'll show you the, the darker one later. But it's obviously gonna uh, depend on your skin tone. I just don't want too much red in mine. So when you first start, apply very lightly. I need my other hand here. Okay, so start very lightly. You don't wanna overdo this because then you'll really look like a warrior going to war and battle instead of like natural good makeup, okay? And so I just kind of do circles so that I don't get too much of a streak line. And then you can drag down just a little bit here, which is, I like to have a touch of that. I'm not sure why or what that does yet, but I do like to do that. I just noticed it on the Kardashians one day that they have that little piece, so I do that once in a while. Okay. Jessica, what type of brush are you using? Do you like the natural or synthetic? Uh... Ooh, I think I, I just like the feel of brushes like so mine depends on what it feels like I'm not super picky about brushes I just know that if it applies like really soft. well yeah I want soft Mac brushes are really good you know if you get a professional brush you can usually get some really good ones this one's a Dex brush this one's a Mac brush so I like 
those brushes a lot. I don't know what this one is. It's been a while since I bought brushes, so. There's a couple questions. Are you using cream or powder? I'm using a powder. I've used the liquid before. Um, you're asking which one do you like better? Cream or powder? Yeah. I like powder better because cream gets just a little bit too heavy for me. And I am going to be switching up my makeup routine soon because I just learned another new one. So I'll be showing that later on. We'll have to see if you guys notice. If you guys notice when my makeup changes, you have to let me know. Okay, so then I just take a lighter version and I start up here. And what you're doing is kind of creating movement on your face because you want it to look more natural. You don't want everything to look the same shade. And then you take it across the top. Now, if you have a bigger forehead, you'll want to make a bigger dark contour up here. And if you have a smaller forehead, you want to make it really small. So it just gives a little bit of movement there. I'm trying to see if I can get it with not so much light on my forehead. Okay. So I do that. And then for contouring the chin and jawline, it's really important to have like a nice crisp, line here and it's tricky to get without making it look obvious so definitely I'll show you where to start so it doesn't look as obvious hopefully <laughs> okay so I did the darker color and what I do is I just put it underneath here and then I kind of blend up and out so that it gives you a more um, it kind of shadows in your jawline so you're just trying to create a better shadow there and then it blends out on your neck so that your makeup doesn't look too dark compared to your to your face. Wait, your neck doesn't look too light compared to your face maybe is what I'm looking for. <clears throat> so you just try and even out the jawline so that it has a more even shadow. Okay, so those are kind of the dark highlights I do, or lowlights I do. And then contouring. I'm speaking hair here. Weird, huh? Okay. So, and then I just do a light brush right here to just create some contouring so that, you know, your nose doesn't look flat or too, like, white or too dark. So you just want some movement. And that's pretty much how I do the contour. So that's highlight, low light, highlight, low light, highlight, low light. And then it changes depending on your face shape. So if you want your cheeks up higher, bring it up higher. If you want your forehead down lower, bring the dark down lower. If you want your chin to have, um, you know, if you have a problem area here, then you might just make that a little bit more prevalent or work a little bit more on that area. Okay, and then the next thing I do is, um, a cheek and a blush so I use NARS orgasm and um, they look at you funny when you go in the store no they don't look at you funny because everybody it's like one of the best uh, blushes out there so Tammy you didn't even find that name kind of funny were you not listening at all no, no, no not at all. I'm checking my YouTube I was just okay. making sure everything's going okay because mine is uh, spinning okay so we're just gonna grab a little bit of blush. Now, what I like to do is start up here, right like under where my eyebrow meets my cheekbone, because I don't want it to be too heavy down on my cheeks, okay? So I'm going to just start up here and then start circling on the apples of the cheeks. Because I don't want it to be all on the apples and then it's like, you know like a circus lady, how they had like the circle? You want to make sure you try and avoid that. So then you go up on the other cheekbone and just match it and circle around. And then just, I like to bring a little bit up so that again it's not like too matte or your color isn't distributed. Well, I just want a lot of movement going on all over so that it doesn't look like you just have one color all over your face. And that's pretty much how I do cheeks and contouring. All right. And then once you finish it all, then a setting spray comes in handy so that it'll stay. It seems funny to spray your face after, but I love a setting spray. 
They used to have a white one that I liked better. It was a white bottle, and I don't know if it was any different than this all-nighter, but I feel like I liked it better. And then I just wave it in my face because I never know how far away to spray it. Okay, so that's how I do contouring, and now I look like I'm awake as opposed to before when I look like I've been sleeping and crying through movies all day. And you want to know how long does it take you to usually do your makeup? To do my makeup? I think it depends on how, like where I'm going or what I'm doing. So like on a day like today when I'm coming on camera for you guys, I will be definitely, it takes me longer, probably like, probably 20 to 30 minutes maybe. And yeah, probably 20 to 30 minutes. And then if I'm really fast, don't tell my husband this, but I can probably do it in about five minutes if I really, <laughs> if I'm really trying fast. Or like if I don't use one step, like I always like to be able to elevate makeup, right? Like I like a base level where you could just do lotion and then I do like kind of the contouring version and then I skip the um, the concealer and the um, foundation so I'm really having trouble finding my words today I'm sorry I don't know why because so I'm not used to talking makeup on on camera I think they're they're wanting to know if you do it every day contouring or do you just yeah, I, mean, I do the contouring. Like Once you do the contouring, it's it does so much for your face that I think it's almost hard to not do it. So it's just a matter of how much I do or how perfect I am about doing that. But like yesterday, I did just contouring and no foundation. So it makes it a lot faster. And then you can do like no eyeshadow, which takes me a long time. And eyebrows take me a while. So that's, you know, there's a lot of things that add up. So... I think we should do Q&A for, uh, for curls. Do you think we should do that? Yeah. Okay. Fine. One more question though. Your sure. skin is flawless. Oh. What kind of cream do you use? <laughs> it's one I've been developing. So I've been working on a skincare line in the background trying to find, because once again, I, you know, I was using like seven steps for skincare and I was like, this is ridiculous. There has to be an easier way. So right now I've narrowed it down to just washing my face and one serum kind of application and I put that on at night and in the morning and it has worked wonders for me. So now the next phase is making sure that it works wonders for everybody else that have different skin types than me. So what I like to do when I'm developing a product is make sure that it does everything I want it to do and then I pass it on and make sure that it does everything everybody else wants it to do too. So. I'm using our skincare line. <laughs> so, is your face usually oily or dry? Uh, mine's just in the middle. I don't have like an oily or dry kind of skin, really. And so. you want to know one more time what kind of foundation you use? Okay, so I have been using. I will be switching because I found another routine just this past weekend. So I just ordered everything in. So I. Currently and for a while, for every time, all the time you guys have known me, I've been using uh, this amazing cosmetics concealer and Dermalogica Sheer Tint Moisture. So those have always treated me very well, but there was just something I found that made the makeup look even a little more natural. So I love this routine and I'm sure it would work for tons of people. So if you like that kind of makeup, then, you know, Sheer Tint Moisture is a little bit lighter and the amazing cosmetics uh, concealer is a little bit heavier and then I use the Anastasia contouring kit it goes traveling with me so you know I just got back from vacation or not it wasn't really vacation but it was work workcation <laughs> workcation <laughs> workcation so this contour kit I love and um, but that will be going out of my routine to my routine soon as well it's but I do love it and I would think it can work for many 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 people Okay, because it's pretty versatile how you can blend the colors together. Okay, that's it, for that. that's it for questions? Okay, so I would like to teach a little bit about a quick lean back curl. Or do they have questions? Let's ask if they have questions for, um, for curling. Yeah. So today, guys, for the Mully movie, we're going to give away um, six... Let me get my... So we're going to give away six traveler sets. And with the six traveler sets, we're giving away six tickets to the movie premiere. So it'll be you and a friend that can go. So it's technically 12. So we're going to be helping 12 kids get off of the streets in Kenya, which I think is amazing. And we're also going to be helping you get better hair. 
and you get to help change the world because once you watch that movie, you will want to change the world. You'll say, what can I do? And I feel like the movie kind of gives you the answer, like just look within and do something nice for somebody. Oh, it's just ridiculous. I, I, this movie is going to change the world. I'm, it's no, no joke. Okay, so do we have any curling questions or are they all out right now? Let's see what we have. I'm gonna go ahead and do my new favorite curl. <laughs> the famous question, how do you do the back? The back, <laughs> okay. So here's the back. Okay, so you just grab your piece, pull it forward. Prep your piece nice and good so that's nice and spread out. And then it's literally no different than all the rest. The closer you stay to your head, the better your curl will form, if you're doing a curly curl. So see how I'm staying real close to my head and I just go forward and that's it. So that's how you curl the back, left side. And then it helps if you can get it in the iron though. Yeah, there's a question from Sarah. She's having a lot of problems with getting the left side to match her right side. Okay, left side and right side matching. So we do have stylists available that can help you with that. One of the things that I recommend doing is taking a video of yourself and trying to see what you do because you can watch how different it looks. So like if I go to this side and I hold my iron and I can see my guidelines and how I'm just barely wrapping. Okay, then if I go onto this side, and I'm gonna do a lower piece because I know what I'm gonna do to this piece. Okay, so if I go to the right side and I hold my iron vertical and I wrap it a lot, my curl's going to look very, very different. And the reason is because of how much it's wrapping on the back of the iron. So this one is very curly. And this one is very spread out and more, lead, more of a laid back curl. So the difference is on this side I held more vertical. So you can tell because my curl will be closer together. On this side it's more spread out so I was more horizontal. And you can also tell it's not really curly because I didn't rotate a lot. So on this side I rotated a lot and so there was a lot of time for the hair to travel on the back side which makes it cool longer and then that allows the curl to shape more curly yeah okay yeah, she has stated how can i control the vroom on my left <laughs> okay so you want to vroom less on your left okay so what what you want to do is just not rotate your wrist as much don't straighten it all the way or you know because if i was to do this then i'm going to get really curly so you can see how curly that got just from that little bit of change. So if I want to drag that out, I just do this. Okay. So how do you control? What did she ask? How did you control? She just less? Said, how can I control the room on my left? Yeah. So you just want to make sure that, you know, just don't rotate as much as you go forward or don't stay as close to your head or go further out to the side, you know, try different angles and see how they work for you. But I highly recommend doing just a quick video of yourself doing it. And don't be judgmental of yourself after you, when you're <laughs> watching the video. That, that's the tricky part. I just kind of fast forward through videos as much as fast as I can. I just scroll down the bottom and just watch them fast. And that helps me <laughs> be able to watch it because I cannot watch myself back on camera. And okay. do you usually go the same way with all your sections when you do your hair? Do I go the same like, way? Are you going the same way? Uh, I would say most of the time, yeah, I just push forward towards the lower corner of my mirror is my general. That's a really good way to know, you know, if you always head that direction, you'll know more about how to rotate or not to rotate. But if I want a really lean curl, then I drop straight down like that and that will change your curl a lot. See how that curl drops out and at first it was getting full and then it drops out and gets real lean. So that's because I dropped down like this. And then a couple questions on cleaning the iron. Okay, so when you're cleaning the iron, you know, I just recommend letting it cool and then having a damp cloth. And I mean very lightly damp, not
heavily like a wet cloth very lightly damp and if that doesn't work then um, you can grab uh, rubbing alcohol and the rubbing alcohol will get it clean I think I've been talking a lot late lately my voice sounds a little hoarse <laughs> or it could be because I'm embarrassed to go on the wrong pages today I'm just kidding I wasn't okay so do we have any questions about Mully? Has anyone heard of it? Has anyone seen it? Is anyone going to go? I think it There's would be... a lot of comments. Everybody's saying, you know, oh my gosh, how amazing. You guys are amazing for contributing, you know, to the kids in Africa as well. And everybody's excited. You can tell they're all looking forward to it. Yeah, and I, what I like about, uh, you know, contributing to Mully's project is that he really did it out of the goodness of his heart. And he is really truly changing like I mean boatloads of things it, you when you see the movie you will not believe the amount of change that one person can affect in the world I mean if and he was just a kid off the streets his parents disappeared at the age of six and he did all of this on his own it is incredible to watch incredible incredible wait till you guys see I can't wait for that change to affect you know people in the US because we kind of do a lot of stuff over here. We do a lot of, you know, can do a lot of good in the world if we choose to. Yeah, and there's a lot that can be done here in the U.S. I mean. Oh yeah, for sure. You know, with kids and children and homeless, so it doesn't have to just be there too. We can start here. Yeah, absolutely. And I believe the Molly movie, if you buy the tickets before, it helps affect kids in the U.S. as well. So I think they have figured out something nice. to do that. So. We will pin the link um, of how to buy the tickets, and if, you know, just find the movie in your area. It is so, it's amazing. Just so that, can you curl your hair after you straighten it? And do the curls hold, or should you not straighten it? Yeah, so what I like, first of all, with this iron, you don't have to um, curl, or straighten then curl. So it does both at once. So I would recommend, you know, doing both at once if you can. The reason I don't like straightening then curling is because what happens is you, your hair has elasticity, right? So that's why when people's hair is wet, it's one length and when it's dry, it's another length. So the elasticity comes out as there's less moisture in your hair. When you straighten it, you take all that elasticity and straighten it out. And so to create curl in it after it's already kind of stretched to its max, so it's, I feel like, a little bit harder on your hair and doesn't get, you know, as full of a curl. So I, I prefer to do all in one, if you can. Okay, so. And how long does it usually take you to do your hair? Mm, like about nice. five minutes. Yeah, I'm about five minutes for, and then it lasts me seven days, so. Yeah, and if you can't get to that, then meet with one of our stylists. If you're not getting your hair done as fast as you would like, then definitely meet with one of our stylists. And remember, all you know, we're putting a portion of our proceeds on purchases made on the website. Just enter the promo code MOLLY, and those, a portion of proceeds are going straight to the MOLLY Foundation. So if you haven't watched the movie yet, I promise, promise, promise you will not regret it. It is, oh, it's just so amazing. Okay, so I feel like I... This was less energetic today because I was concentrating on how to do makeup for you guys. <laughs> so I will get better at teaching makeup. I just have to do it a couple more times. All right. All do we, right. Should we get presents? We do have our presents. Our winners are there. All right. We get our winners. Let me see. What winner do I want to give first? So we should do an iron winner first. Okay. Let's do that. And then we'll give the ticket and, and traveler set. Traveler there we go. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So iron winner... Brooke Hill Mitchum. Brooke Hill Mitchum, you are win iron winner today. Congratulations, congratulations. Yay, Brooke. <laughs> Tammy's trying to bring energy to me today. I, I think it's I think it's because I was watching that premiere before and I was like, oh, it doesn't bring you down, but it's just like, oh, it's just so I don't know, it's inspiring. So touching. It's, it feels a little shallow teaching people how to do hair after that. <laughs> but I know that I'm changing the world in my own way. I'm trying, I'm doing my best. Okay. So, I'm not going to judge myself because I've removed judgment from my life, guys. I've done it. <laughs> it's official. <laughs> okay. So, traveler set and tickets. Who are our winners for that? What are we number doing? Six? One. Number one. Number one. Giving away six. 
Okay, so we have six winners that do this. Make sure, the way you guys are gonna do this, we're gonna need your email and your mailing address, so make sure that you send both of those to our team so that we can make sure we get you your movie tickets. It's gonna be a little bit different than our normal process, so we're gonna learn how to do it, so learn with us. <laughs> Bear with us on as we learn, okay? So who's our number one winner? Number one, Paula Perez. Paula Perez, congratulations. You're going to see Molly and going to get the traveler set. All right, All number right. two. Number two, Anna Marie Geary. Anna Marie Geary, number three. We have M, it was just the initial M Rod, M and it was on YouTube. M Rod, okay. And then we have Mel Melody Wright. Melody Wright is number four, okay. Yeah, number five, Holly Wilson Barton. Holly Wilson Barton is number five. And our last but not least is Amanda uh, Carnahan. Amanda Carnahan. So, congratulations, everybody. We cannot wait to hear what you guys think of this premiere. And remember, if you're going to make a purchase on our website, it's going to, we're going to put proceeds going towards uh, all those children. So we are very excited and happy to do that. So make sure that you get your purchases in before Saturday. I think we have it running till Saturday. So Saturday will be the day that we do the cutoff for that so that I can take the check with me to the premiere. So I'm excited. So. Anything else, Tammy? I yeah, feel like we you have, have something. We have new news on the website. Just oh the yeah, website. we launched a new website. How exciting! Mm -hmm. So we launched a new website last night. Our tech guy Gabe has been working so hard to get it and uh, bringing you guys uh, a better website. I think it is really better. Our team has worked so hard to put this together, and we thank you, uh, Savannah and Ryan, for doing such a great job, and Stephanie and marketing and everybody. And thank you, thank you. Happy, happy Wednesday. We'll see you. Bye.